Tyler Perry's Ruthless is back for a riveting season two. And I've got Melissa L. Williams and Matt Cedeno here to talk about it. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Melissa, let's get started with you. Tell us about your character, Ruth, and how do we close with the cliffhanger and what can we expect in season two? Uh, well, my character, Ruth, is just like every woman. She is um, human and she makes mistakes. So it, when you first meet her in the Oval and she has kidnapped her daughter because she feels like the best place for her to be is in this compound with her in this cult, uh, Rakadushi cult. So um, she kidnaps her daughter and they go to this cult. And then we find out that it's not really the best idea and that Things aren't always as they seem. And in season two, we're really getting like an unpeeling of the characters. And I really appreciate that because it allows us to see the vulnerability in each character, the highest, myself as Ruth. And it just allows the viewer to have a little bit more empathy and realize that, okay, these are, these are human. They are, they, even if they have power, they're still humans. We're still just people just like them. So. Now, Matt, tell us about your character, The Highest. The Highest. Yeah, I don't know if, if The Highest is ruthless or Ruth is ruthless, but um, <laughs> the, highest, the Highest has a little bit of the ruthlessness in him, for sure. Uh, I play the cult leader. Um, my character is, a, is a, vis a visionary. He sees the world a very... Uh, specific kind of way and uh, he's sort of willing to take whatever measures necessary in order to maintain order but he's a complex character so you know he sort of uh, has some redemptive qualities in a lot of ways that um, I think the the audience is going to get to see this season and hopefully identify with uh, him and, and all of the characters because we're each very driven and uh uh, goal oriented and it's just going to be a game about who's going to get uh, who wins mm -hmm. now, the end Melissa, game when this thing, the end game Melissa when this whole thing got started when you first read the script what did you think about it when I first read the script I was like okay this is this is a lot um, because it's you know it's a sensitive subject matter and I also had never had a role like this before. So I just was like, wow, this is this is something one that I need to do a lot of research on because I want to make sure that I'm playing Ruth um, as real as what I what I saw when I was doing my research. And um just having empathy and 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 not judging, you know, the the situations that she's in and just kind of really trying to bring humanity to it because we're all flawed we all have had situations where we might have been misled so i try to just bring that realness to to uh ruth matt your character the highest can you compare him to somebody that's real today do you see that in somebody real today somebody real today uh not that I can think of, you know? I know a lot of his characteristics are um, inspired by, loosely based on Jim Jones of the past. Um, but I don't know, I can't think of anybody today who he's like, pretty unique character. Mm. What do you think, Melissa? Very unique. Do you mind you? I don't think, yeah, no, he's his own, he's his own high. His own high, he's his own bird. <laughs> like that's a, that's one that's a that's a that's a you know what I mean? Like I, yeah. I don't know if you can relate that to and someone that's yeah, that's the highest is his own person. He's he's his own high, okay. So Melissa, what did Matt mess up on a few minutes ago before we got started? Oh, I don't think he messed up. I think it was just um, you know this technology so like we're like on the zoom and you know when you could swipe left swipe right i don't know matt where you, you were just swiping and it's like swiped yeah. away <laughs> yeah, swipe happy you just you know ran around and 
Everybody was gone. My bad. My bad. It's my like apologies. a puzzle on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so the highest is not perfect, Matt. We understand. We understand. <laughs> Melissa, yeah. Matt, thank you so much for joining us on Morning Blend and talking about Tyler Perry's Ruthless. I look forward to seeing it. And Matt, you're absolutely right. You're, you, this has a lot to do with a long time ago, Jim Jones. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Pleasure. Thank you.